my snake is solid. Gotta say, it actually feels kind of unreal that we've finally got the first three Metal Gear Solid games on the PlayStation 5, and of course you get it on PC, Xbox Series X and Nintendo Switch, but I honestly didn't think this was going to happen. The amount of times we've seen this rumour that these games are being ported to current gen consoles, and then the Metal Gear Solid 3 remake, it was actually all true, so it's kind of insane because none of these games were playable on the previous generation, you could only play them on the Xbox Series X or Xbox One if you had the physical version of the HD collection, but obviously as you guys are well aware, for at least a year, or maybe even two years, you couldn't play the HD collection because there was some copyright issues to do with the war footage that they used and some of the flashback sequences, or when, you know, the character's doing a dialogue. You'll see what I mean. I don't know if it's got it in Metal Gear Solid 1. I know it's got it in Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3. They use real archived footage, so there was an issue with the licenses, and then this happened, so honestly, I am so excited to play this game. As I said before, my snake is solid, so here we go. We've got Metal Gear Solid. I'm going to do them in the order the game's release. I was initially going to do it in Metal Gear Solid 3 because that's technically the first one. I was going to do that. Nah, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do Metal Gear Solid 1, 2, 3. Do them in the order that they release. So we've got game selection. We've got the screenplay book. Now the master book and screenplay book. Not to use them until after you completed the game because the artwork and such is full of spoilers so we're going to go game selection and as you can see you got metal gear solid fantastic you got the special missions vr missions and metal gear solid integral now i don't know what metal gear solid integral is I'm not sure haven't had the chance to have a look at it we're going to go ahead with the original og amazing game let's get it oh i'm excited my snake is solid Oh, yeah! That makes me moist. That makes me moist. Oh, my God. There's not a more beautiful sound than that. Oh, okay, I'm going to stop talking now. Nuclear weapons disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago was attacked and captured by next generation special forces being led by members of Foxhound. They're demanding that the government turn over the remains of Big Boss and they say that if their demands are not met within 24 hours, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. You'll have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue DARPA Chief Donald Anderson and the president of Arms Tech, Kenneth Baker. Both are being held as hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to make a nuclear strike. And stop them if they do. What's the insertion method? We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. And then launch a one-man SDV. After the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. High-tech Special Forces Unit Foxhound. Your former unit, and one that I was a commander of. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mattis, with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf, a beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, master of disguise. Vulcan Raven, giant and shaman. And Revolver Ocelot, specialist in interrogation and a formidable gunfighter. And finally, in charge of them, 
Foxhound squad leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake? The man with the same code name as you. The nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As usual, this is a one-man infiltration mission. Weapons and equipment, OSP? Yes. This is a top-secret black op. Don't expect any official support. Kind of crazy to think that Metal Gear Solid was so ahead of its time. I think it was the first game that introduced heavy cutscenes in games, and obviously, as as anyone knows who's played Metal Gear Solid games, there's so many cutscenes, so many. I think Metal Gear Solid 4 had the most cutscenes at around four hours. No, no, not four hours. About 16 hours worth of cutscenes, which is crazy to think. But obviously, you guys understand how amazing the cutscenes are. So I'm gonna have a quick look at maybe the options, see if there's a control scheme because. It's been so long since I've played this. Okay, so green brightness setup. Don't think we need to edit it. Uh, no. Okay, seems alright so far. Go to the key config. Okay, so circle to punch, X to crawl, triangle for first person, square to use your weapon, and first person mode. So we can do normal or reverse. Now I'm going to keep it all standard. I'm not going to invert my controls because I'm not about that life. And uh, oh, hang on. Okay, okay, uh, <laughs> uh, hang on, I just changed that. I keep on forgetting that circle is essentially, oh my god. See, I keep forgetting that circle is the OK button and X is for back. I always forget, so let's change those keys back again because I don't want to change it. Oh, I've done it again. Here we go, restore default. So, yep, we got it back to normal. Let's go, bitch. I'm so excited to play this. It's just, there's something about Metal Gear Solid that it's so nostalgic, even if you haven't played the game in so long and it's not even one of your favourite games. It's just, it's so nostalgic. I remember watching the Metal Gear Solid 2 DVD that came with a demo, and I think I watched that for about a good year. The, the game had already been released, but I watched it for like a good year. Okay, so we got easy, normal and hard, and extreme. Obviously, you don't, you don't unlock extreme until I believe you complete the game. You have to at least complete it once on any difficulty. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, but let's go! Ah, oh, this is gonna be good! This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codex receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. Here we go. Man, it is crazy to think how ahead of its time Metal Gear Solid was. Right. 
Is he going to walk down? I'm just going to play as safe as I possibly can, obviously. I'm going to try and make it enjoyable for you guys, but at the end of the day, I do not want to be fail in this game. It is a stealth-based game. I do suck at stealth, but this is just one of my favourite games. Hang on, where is he coming to? Okay. Uh, is he coming further down? I don't want to take that chance. Oh, that's it. Okay. And then, avoid this puddle. Just have a little look around. Obviously, we need to get to the elevator, but we'll have a little look around, see if there's anything, because in these games, in Metal Gear Solid games, you can collect a lot. See, we got a ration. Then go in there, because someone's coming. Please go, go away. Oh, shoot. Yeah, how long is he going to go there for? If I come out now, is he going to find me? Oh, shit. Oh, that was lucky. Oh, my God, that was so lucky. Oh, my God. Okay, go, 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 go. Is he going to catch us? Quick, 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 quick. Oh, this is tense. Oh, shit! Snake, there's an elevator there you can take up to the ground. You'll just have to wait for the elevator to come down. You'd better hide somewhere. Oh, great. Hmm. Hang on. That's a... Uh, that's an idea. They should not find us here. Hang on, let's go. Let's go first person. It is kind of, it is kind of odd playing a PlayStation One game on the PlayStation Five, but there's something about it that like, you just think, ah, this is amazing. Now, I was too young to play this when it initially released because I would have been about two or three years old. Wait, can we jump up here? No. Go, 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 go. Make sure he doesn't spot us. I was gonna have a little look around and see if I can find anything, but. I'm not so sure that's a safe option to do. Uh, okay. Oh, shoot. This elevator's got to be coming soon. Right, you, if you can just, if you can just go, that would be brilliant. Go do your patrol, please, sir. I want to have a little nice look around. Oh, God, no! Oh, go away! So, I think this and FIFA are the f Here we go! Oh, is that more dudes? Please don't be more. Yeah, I think it is. Let's play it safe. Anytime today. Come on, guys. Keep it moving. Keep. Here we go. Just wait for him to go and then run into the elevator. Nope. Look the other way. Thank you. Okay, let's go, 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 go. Here we go, yeah, boy. So I think Metal Gear Solid and FIFA were the first games of their kind, and this obviously revolutionised gaming as a whole. Like, this was the first major game on a PlayStation 1. This and Gran Turismo. I believe Gran Turismo is still the highest selling PlayStation game of all time. Snake, I'm in front of the disposal facility. Excellent, Snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. 
Take it easy, I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. Behind D? Colonel, what's a Russian gunship doing here? I have no idea, but it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. There are only 18 hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, he must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. Come on. I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake. But, uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a train killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Yeah. I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. But first, let me explain about your Soliton radar system. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure you don't let them see you. First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to record your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Remember, except for your binoculars, you're naked. You need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip-searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip-search on me. I'll hold you to that, Doctor. By the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. If you want to get in, there's the front door. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. Uh, there's one sentry on the left, and one on the right. They're armed with five five sixers and pineapples.
What about the air duct near the door? There should also be a duct on the second floor. I can't see it from here. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. Let's go! So, I think I'm gonna play this whole game as a series regardless, but depending on how this series does, I might do Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3 as well. So, I do need to find a weapon. Uh, ooh, what's that over there? Okay, just gotta be careful about this stuff because they have improved hearing. Uh, ration? No. Hang on, is there anywhere else to go? What's in that truck there? Gotta just be careful about this. Cannot just go running into everything. So yeah, I'm probably gonna do... Oh, shoot. I'm probably gonna do a series regardless, but... Hang on. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's go, 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 go. There's gotta be something in this truck, because I did see something before on the cutscene. Here we go. Why are they yellow? They've obviously heard us, oh no. Okay, so we've got a pistol. Hopefully we don't have to use it, because it is a sneaking game, so let's hide behind here for now. Oh, shoot. No. <laughs> if you can see on the mini-map right there, the dudes are still looking at us in the yellow, so let's go here. Hang on, where are they? Oh, shoot. Okay, he's asleep, so I don't know how I'm going to get rid of him. Uh, have a little look here. Yeah, it is kind of crazy, the stuff that it had, because it was very much, in a way, ahead of its time. It wasn't, you know, a very dated game. Oh, okay. A surveillance oh, camera? shit. God. Am I going to get past there? Hang on. I have no idea. No idea I'm going to get past it. Oh, this is lucky. Is there anything there? No. Okay. Hug the ball. Quick, 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 quick. Okay, so now to find... Oh, whoa, 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 let's not go over there. Okay, so there is a vent there and a vent there, but I think... I think ideally, how am I going to... Hmm, I could go up there. You know what, I might try it. Try going up there. And then, or maybe if I throw a little smoke grenade that could distract them, it all depends. I don't think I will be able to. He is just yawning. Bye. Wait, there, is there a camera there? Yeah, there's a camera there. There's no chance I'm getting past that. Okay. It's going to be a tough one. Can I go for the front? No. Ah, uh, this is not going to go good. Hang on. <sighs> Ooh, that was so lucky. Whose footprints Sh are these? Hmm. <laughs> oh shit! No, not good. Okay, so the sneaking did not last long, guys. Oh, don't die! Don't die! Don't die! Okay. Okay, yep, I died. That is not a great star. Wow. Okay, I, I suck at sneaking. So, I know which way to go. I do know which way to go. I just need to approach a bit better. So, have we still got a gun? No, we haven't got a gun anymore. Damn it. Go and get our gun, so... We'll just go the same way that we've done before. I do apologise for this being god-awful. Okay. Shit, 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 shit. There we go. Ah, you didn't see us. Yeah, boy. There we go. Get this. Thank you. And select this in case we do need it. Now, we said before, hmm, whose footprints are these? So, I think if I just manage to get past them... Surveillance the... camera? Oh, shit. I didn't pick up the stun grenades, did I? There we go. 
if I go up here and just a tide here actually because I do not know where that other dude is got to be careful hang on the hug the ball here I should be able to see him nope shit he's coming he's coming he's coming he's coming <laughs> oh no he's coming okay ah uh. I haven't played this game in so long. So damn long. Okay, so if we get to that air duct, we should. Should be able to get it now. It's just a case of getting past that dude. Get past him in one piece. People are probably just burning through this game so quickly and getting through it easily, but I suck at stealth games, so it's going to take a while. Let's crouch just to make ourselves a bit smaller. Sh oh, no. No. Go. Go away. Please go away. I really need him to move. I don't know why I'm whispering. What now? That base must have some kind of ventilation system to recirculate the air. There should be air ducts around there somewhere. They must need a lot of power to run the base. There's probably a diesel generator somewhere. And since generating electricity requires oxygen, there must be exhaust openings for that too. You're not gonna believe this. But they shot down the F-16s we were using as a diversion with a Hind D. Then we got a message from Liquid. He said if we try something like that again, he'll launch the nuke. Snake, hurry up and get in there. That Hind will be coming back soon. I tried to, but you interrupted me. Hang on, is there anything down there? Okay, can't chance it. Let's just go, 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 go. <laughs> Let's just go. Oh, it's dark in here. So we've died already within the first 20 minutes of actually playing the game. That's shameful, but hopefully I learn from this. Okay. It's quite dark. They haven't got a match. Right. Can't select anything. Mm. So, Salt Snake's favourite brand, Smoking has this. You know what? Let's have a little cigarette. Relax ourselves. Oh, what now? Snake, this is McDonald Miller. It's been a long time. Master, what are you doing here? I quit being a drill instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? <laughs> Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you. So call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80. So what's actually kind of cool is he mentioned about Alaska before, let's unequip these cigarettes. So, between Metal Gear and Metal Gear 2, which obviously became before Metal Gear Solid, there was a prequel. Can I look through there? Can't see anything. Can see a camera there. Any enemies? Mm, can't see anyone there. It's not letting me look. Basically, Solid Snake was retired, and a bunch of soldiers were sent to Alaska to hunt him down. Now, personally, that would make a great prequel game if you're just Solid Snake in Alaska, just trying to survive. It'd be awesome. I moved the dark machine to the cell in the first floor basement. What about the vent shaft cleaning? They just opened the vent covers. They're about to start spraying for rats. First floor basement ventilation shaft. Shut those covers as soon as they're done spraying. Also, keep your eye on that woman in the cell. Don't get careless now. Woman in the cell? Did something happen? There's an intruder. Really? He's already done three people. He's killed three people? Yeah. Say so he's using stealth, too. Stealth? There's an intruder besides me? Anyway, I want you to increase the security detail on the Chief. Hmm. I wonder who that could be. Obviously, I'm not going to say a damn thing for anyone that hasn't actually played this game, because... Obviously, to me, 
I assume everyone has played a Metal Gear Solid game, but it was actually before a lot of people's time. Like, when you think about it, I was about two, three years old when this game came out, so it's definitely before... If it's before my time, it's going to be for a lot of people, because I always forget the type of people that play these games, the age of them now is the probably the age I was when I was first introduced to Metal Gear Solid, so this is brand new to a lot of people, so hopefully... Ooh, that looks like it's going to be suffering decent. Not sure if there's a key card system in this game. Obviously, in Metal Gear Solid 2, you need to get certain key cards to go through certain doors. Pretty sure there is. Cannot remember exactly, though. Now, I can't get to that because there's no other exit to go. Anyway, let's go down here and hopefully we don't die. Oh, what now? Press the action button to drop down. No, I want to go over. So. Let's get this. I'm pretty sure it's just a ration, or maybe it's our cardboard box. Ah, it's a ration. Okay. Uh, well, we're not injured, so we can't pick any more rations. How many of how many rations have we got? Two. Oh, okay, so you can't actually hold that many rations now. Let's drop down, see what happens. Hopefully we don't die or get caught. Let's keep it as stealthy as possible. Use the elevator to change floors. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it. Okay. Let's have a little look for me. Uh. Ooh, what is this? Chaff grenade. Now, I'm pretty sure the chaff grenade you can use for cameras, so disable electronics. There we go. You're going to blow up. There we go. Oh, I can't go in there. Damn it. Uh, let's have a look. See anyone there? Just need to make sure I do not die. Hang on, let's throw another one down there. Oh, really? Oh, I think that's too far away. Oh, no. Okay, that's disabled. Let's go, 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 go. Hang on, what's this? Thermal goggles. Oh, yes. We are getting some sweet stuff, guys. Uh, let's let's equip those thermal goggles. So thermal imaging system for night vision use, so we can easily see where enemies are. So there's just there's no one on the same floor as us. Let's actually use them for a bit just to see. So you can't actually. There we go. So there's one dude there. Eh, yeah. Okay. So we got our gun. Uh, let's equip that again. I don't know why I keep on unquipping it. Sorry. Still getting used to the controls because obviously it's quite an old game. It's just taking me a damn while. Another camera, but I'm all out of chaff grenades. Shoot. Oh. Uh. <gasps> oh, no. Right. Let's go, 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 go. Really? Really? Uh. Okay. There's got to be a better way for me to do this. As I said, I will get better at this game. It's just taken me a goddamn while to actually sort this out because I'm not used to the controls. I'm not used to a lot of stuff in this. It handles like an old game, essentially. Here we go. Yes, yes, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Shut up. Oh, I am sorry. Dying twice in this game is not how I imagined to uh, start this path. So if we go in there, we should. Here we go. Get this one. Oh, 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 I for forgot that door we don't use. Uh... Oh, that camera's disabled? Okay. Oh, shit, maybe not. Oh, oh no, quick, 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 blow, 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 blow before it finds us. Blow up. I'm not sure if that did actually find us. Can we drop down here? Okay, so we've got our thermal goggles, we've got our gun. Let's go to the thermal. Man, this is not the part I wanted to uh, give you guys. And um, we have still got one shaft grenade left, so we are doing okay. We're doing okay at the moment, we just need to make sure that we don't die. Because that is not the best thing to do in this game. Is anyone there? No, okay. So we have got our little grenade. Ooh, that was lucky. Let's equip it, here we go. And that should blow it up. 
Okay, it does also get rid of... Let's see a dude there. Is he gone? I can see a dude down there. Okay, let's just go, 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 go. This is going to be risky, but let's just go. And we got some soakum bullets. Is this where we have to go? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, you know what? Let's not let's not even risk. Let's not even risk trying to. Uh... Oh shit! Wait, is there a button? Uh, goes to B two. There we go. <laughs> I didn't even know if that's where I was supposed to go. I just went. Sorry for going silent, but obviously with me dying so many times, I just decided. Let's just there. Uh, you know, try and do it as quick as possible. <laughs> I have no idea where to go. Oh, this is not going well. Okay, what's that? <gasps> uh, um, where do I go? I don't know what section to go in. Oh no, this isn't good, is it? Wait, I probably shouldn't have went in here. Open this. Oh, ah, what am I doing? What am I doing? Nope, not in here. Oh no, this is not good. Oh! Come on, show me where to go, show me where to go. Maybe I need to go in B1. I think that's what I have to do. Hey, where, where's he going? Is he coming down here? Or... Let's just go, 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 go. Gotta be slippery. Gotta be stealthy. Okay, so I'm not sure what. Oh, fuck. Uh, can we make it? Can we make it? You know what? Let's just go. Go. Get in, Snake! Snake, get in! Snake, go! Snake! Oh, oh, come on, Snake! Okay, so... I think we might have been in number... The first floor? I think we might have been in the first floor before. I'm not entirely sure. Wasn't paying attention. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, this looks different. Look at the radar. It's picking up the DARPA chief. He's the green dot. Hurry and rescue him! Okay, yeah, so we are in the right area. Thank goodness. Green dot. Green dot? I can't see one. Down here, maybe? Snake, if you want to go up or down a ladder, just press the action button by the ladder. Okay, straightforward. Pretty sure this is the right way. Not sure. We'll find out. It's got to be, yeah. Because we're going through the air vent now. It's got to be the right way. <sighs> I hope it is. I hope it is. This part has not started how I expected it to. Are you going to... Is this... Ugh, oh, kind of damn cold. I hate Alaska. Boy, oh boy, that woman is built all right. Whoa, whoa, flush! Flush the toilet, mate! You dirty bastard! Didn't even flush! Okay, I think this is just ammo, nothing, you know, that interesting. Uh, okay. Oh, really? I'm going the wrong way. So, the good thing is about this game, but it can be tedious when you're trying to do a series, of course, is there's a lot of exploration, considering the map isn't exactly huge. There's, it's like a Resident Evil kind of thing where you need to do a lot of backtracking. That's the beauty of the game, so... There's been a countless amount of doors we've actually went past and haven't been able to go through already. And obviously there's going to be many, many more, so when you unlock, you know, say, keys and key cards, the, the basically just key cards, when you unlock them, we are able to see a lot more of the map. Oh, she's built! No. And obviously, you'll find out who that woman is shortly. Snake, the DARPA chief's signal is coming from somewhere in that area. Isn't there some place to drop down? Take a look around in first-person view mode. What do you think I've been doing? Is there some way to drop down? Who's 
Hilfe! I'm here to save you. You're the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, right? You're here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent here to save your worthless butt. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. They... could launch a nuke. Uh, what? How did they plan to launch? I thought this place was just for keeping the dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about to tell you is classified information. Okay? We were conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A weapon that will change the world. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. A nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. Metal Gear... It can't be... You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? I had heard the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary. It's grown into a huge joint project between arms tech and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data and then proceed to mass production. If it hadn't been for the revolution... Revolution? Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex? Metal Gear Rex. The code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. They've probably already finished arming the warhead they plan to use with Rex. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping weapons. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? But I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean PAL. Yes, of course, there is a PAL. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes. Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of arms tech? That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But... They found out my password. You talked? Psychomantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Psychomantis? One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. This is bad. It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's too. If they find out Baker's password... Yes. They'll be able to launch a nuke anytime. But... There is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed by Armstead, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. That card key? So where are the keys? Baker should have them. Listen, you need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. 
Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him to an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes. They cemented over the entrances, but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a pan card. It works together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as the transmission medium. As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So does the White House plan to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? The Pentagon? What is it? Naomi, the chief. What happened? I... I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but... A heart attack? <sighs> no. Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not. Snake, you've got to understand. This op is security level red. You need the highest security clearance to get access to the complete file. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you. The Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker.